I also went through, I know you've had Billy Otter on. Yep. Um, and I know you've talked to Sean Mignon, but yep. Sean had gone to, and I'll, I don't think he would mind me sharing this. He went through Save a Warrior because he knew somebody who'd gone through it and he recommended me go through it. So uh, I did. I went through Save a Warrior with that. Uh, and what I found, you can have all the psych docs in the world. You can have the, you know, the top of the, the whatever, but there's nothing. And it's 72 hours, man. It was three days. And that was an intense yeah. three days. But there's nothing better for the soul or for me is having people who've been in similar circumstances share their story. And I, and I was able to be, I was able to be vulnerable. I was ready to be vulnerable. And, you know, um, nice. Billy Otter didn't know me. He just knew that there was a 17th guy going through and he came out and, uh, he sat through my class and he was there for me. And I, and once again, man, I felt like, you know, when you're telling your story, you know, yeah. I felt that wall coming up and, and dudes, and I, this isn't a hit on them. I'm, I was jealous. They're like letting it all go. They're crying. Like from day one, right, right. they're like, they're ready. And I'm still gripping it, man. Like I'm still gripping it. And I, and I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be able to let this go. I, cause I knew I needed, I knew I needed to cry and I knew I needed to release it. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't think I would have been able to if it wasn't for Billy being there. And I, I hadn't yeah. I hadn't met him, but I knew him when he walked in. You know, you're still looking in the room. I mean, you know, this fit dude comes in. I'm like, that's Billy. It's got to be Billy. And, uh, <laughs> right. and they're like, hey, Billy, why don't, why don't you come up here, Cam, and tell Billy your story? And uh, and then I was able to open up and let go. Um and, and, and truly feel it. And, and that has just been, you know, for me, it's been, been a lifesaver. Um, so I've got nothing but awesome things to say about that program, but, you know, save a warrior. Um, and, uh, you know, it's been probably almost nine months since I've gone through that. And okay, it's just, it's been life-changing. Um, and it's, it's not always good. Like it, the, the end is good, but what you have to right. face, is daunting because I knew I was going to have to eat that elephant and how do you eat that elephant, yeah. eat that elephant one bite at a time. So, um, yeah, for me, it's, it's been, it's been good to, to let go of that and to be able to ground that rucksack. And I still pick it up sometimes, but I'm also yeah. learning, man, like I, I don't have to beat myself over what I did wrong. You know, I don't have to beat myself over, you know, if, you know, a strike went bad, um, I know that I did everything I could. And then, you know, I was talking about that deployed home, deployed home, you know, that dichotomy there of like feeling guilt here, feeling guilt there, you know, it's just letting all that go. Um, yeah. And that feels good. It feels good to be able to let all that go. And, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without safe warrior. So, um, yeah. I've heard nothing but good stuff about that whole, that program. I mean, like you said, like Billy was on, he was talking about it. He meant, you know, um, I just hear it's very cathartic for guys to get in there and just kind of, it's a, I don't, I don't know what it does. I don't, I, I'd love to visit and or, or even go to it just to find out what, what the heck goes on. But I mean, it seems like everybody that goes eventually lets it go. Yeah. You know, and and can, you know what it is? There's a, cause you go into it. I, I'll tell you. And man, this sounds, I always kind of balked at stuff like this, you know, and um, you kind of go into it, but there's a warrior mindset with it. And then there's a piece of that process where, you know, they talk about like, you know, back in the day where, you know, people would go off to war, they would come back from war and then there'd be like a ceremonial process to kind of, yeah. kind of like cleanse that and like kind of like a reset. Um, right. It's like that. It's like there's a ceremonial process that occurs throughout it, you know, without giving everything away because I think if, if people are interested and I encourage anyone to apply and go and it's not just military they have law enforcement and first responders um as well so um but it's there's something about it that allows you it allowed me a vulnerability and to be able to shed that armor and to be like and i never dude i never thought like i was like a badass or anything like that i mean i i never had that mentality but there was just for so many years taking my feelings and my emotions and putting them away 
Um, right. It allowed me to, to like unpack all of that truly for the first time ever, like really, really unpack it. I could talk about it. I could tell yeah. you like, all right, yeah, this time this happened, I was doing a kinetic strike and, you know, um, but I wouldn't feel it. You know what I mean? And it allowed me to feel it and then let it go. It's just like, yeah, it's like holding, you know, bricks, you know, like just, just let them go, man. You, you don't have. To. Well, I mean, you had, I think there was a defense. I mean, I don't know if it's a defense mechanism or some sort, but you had to do that in order to continue. Yeah. Like if you would, like if every time you did something wrong or every time you did something that was uh, emotionally uh, negative, you would just break down and you wouldn't be able to, you know, get up the next day and do the, do the mission that you needed to do. So it was, it was necessary then, but I think what you're saying and correct me if I'm wrong, but the save a warrior kind of gives you some closure. Like it, like you put the ruck down and it's like, all right, it's over. I got it. I, I can now, go on to the next thing or be, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, keeping this armor up to do the next mission. You know, the missions are done. I'm done. Now you can leave it alone. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, it, well, that's awesome, man. I'm glad. Yeah. It kind of get. it makes me, I get emotional just thinking about what you guys have gone through, man. Cause I, mean, I think that's so great because I think, like I said before with the drinking, but there's guys out there that are still holding on. They're still holding on super tight and they're, they don't know. And sometimes, I was going to say this before, but like a lot of times guys don't know why they're, they feel this way. You know, your son said, you, you know, you get, you don't even realize you got that clenched fist and you know, some people just, they, they don't understand why they're upset or they don't, uh, they don't get why they're mad. And you know, they're, they're, they're short with people and they don't, they, they can't figure out why that is. So I think a program like that would be perfect for them just to be, even if they don't even come to the full conclusion of why that is, they should get, still just let it go. It's gotta be something with my military service. I'm just going to put the ruck down and and get that closure. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, you know, JD, I look, I look back at pictures of myself during those time frames, and I can see it. I can see the tension in my face. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's good to, it's good to not have that. It's good. To sure. Just, it's good to just exist, man. And I'll, I'll be the first one to admit, dude, meditate. You know, I, I wouldn't say I do it every day, but you know, meditate on a regular basis, you know, um, and you know, I talk with Billy. It's been it's been a couple of weeks. We're we're due we're doing another conversation. But you know, I talk with you know Sean because we work together. You know, I talk with him daily. You know what I mean? Right, right. And and once you unpack that stuff, it's not like you have to relive it over and over again. You know, then it becomes. It's just it's it's just a story, man. It's not right. It's not there's not an emotion attached to it anymore. It's not like you're running from it. It's just a story. It just happened. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's amazing. I just, I encourage anybody to do it, man. I think, uh, you know, save a warrior it's out there and you know, they're, they're doing great things. And for people who are kind of shying away from it because they, they think it's weak or they think it's too tough. I mean, you and Billy and Sean are some of the three of the toughest guys I know. So just know that the, that these warriors are doing it. These badasses are doing it. You can do it too. It's not, it's not a, you know, it's, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. Matter of fact, it's the opposite of something wrong with it. That this is what you need to do. And it can, it can make you even more of a badass. I mean, you can, re, you can just relinquish that, that whatever baggage you have and just go to another level. I mean, yeah, yeah. just so just, yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah. funny because, well, thanks, thanks for the badass comment, but it's funny because <laughs> I think about, you know, I, I, I still, I run a, a quite a bit and, I think about in the past when a car would cut me off and one time I'm running with my dog and the car cut me off and like pulls right in front of me and I, I kick the car and the car speeds off. And then another time, you know, car pulls like right out in front of me. I'm like, what, you know, like challenging them. And now when it happens, I think about like, you know, they might be having a bad day right now. Who knows? And, and it feels good to not now I might get mad for half a second. You know what I mean? Sure. It might make, I'm not saying that I don't have an emotion or, you know, anger exists, you know, right. But even now, like when I get, if I get mad, it feels good to get mad because I can let it go almost immediately, you know, right. You know, at least, you know, in the last eight months, you know, talk to me in sure. three years. We'll see, we'll see where, <laughs> I am. So where, see where I am. I don't want to sound like I'm completely full of shit there, but you know, what, what feels good is you, you're not, you still have the range of emotions. You're still allowed right. to get mad. You're still allowed to have anger, you know? Um, but, uh, 
there's something else. But now you have the tools to deal with it. Now, like before, you might not have. You know, now before you were, you you would get mad and it would just stick with you. But now, now you have the I don't know whatever you want to call it, but the ability to let it go. And, and I think, it's I think a lot of refreshing. that, like I feel for dudes that are still in and still struggling, because for me, there needed to be that break. I needed yeah. like I, I I wouldn't be able to like set my ruck down or take off my armor if I was still active duty. And I think when I was right. doing that, you know, that combat trauma course, I think that was part of the problem too, is that I'm still in the fight. I know I'm leading the fight. I know I'm retiring in less than a year. You're like, this is part of my, my, what is it, your task process or when you're, you know, you're, you know, that last year you're in the military, but I yeah. wasn't, um, I think that's part of the process too. And it's not really, it's civilian psych docs, which are great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not bashing that, but it's like, it's kind of like AA, AA, it's other alcoholics helping other alcoholics. These are other people yeah. with PTS helping people with PTS, you know what I mean? Right. And who've had shared similar experiences and there's nothing like that. Um, yeah. Except that piece. So it's, um, there's a little more credibility with yeah guys who've been through like what you've been through. Exactly. And, and even if you think that, well, I know what they're offering is good and they don't have the credibility, but they're, they've got science to back it there's probably still some reservations that are occurring. And, sure. and I'll tell you another thing that they do really well at Save a Warrior. It's, it's not just, it's not just the combat piece. It's the stuff that happens to you before the military. Yeah. How you start like, cause that's, that's really how you start to process problems. Like the problems I have now would have probably existed even without the military. Let's just be honest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, alcohol. Um, but uh, the, they start looking at that process early on and that was a first because when i went through the yeah. combat trauma i was like like well what about your childhood it's like ah it's childhood shit that's over you know worry about that yeah, you yeah. Know? But <laughs> which really, is like they, they like you said it's like the it's probably the core, the core reason for everything it, yeah yeah started. and so they make right, you, right. they they make you unpack all of that 